Hello everyone, I am Rahul and today I am gonna show you how to draw a line in angle. First of all you have to learn this chart. Here I have created one. This is, these are your east, west, north and south. The zero degrees start from east and go to north and west then south. Then again east. Here you can see 0 degree, 90 degree, 180, 270. Suppose you have to draw a line here, like this line, where the cursor is. You have to know the angle be between these two lines, 180 and this line. And you have to add this into 180 degree. Suppose this is 25, 180 plus 25 degree. That will be your angle of line. If you only give the angle of this line, this line will go here, like this, not here. So let's start. I will show you how to draw a line. Open AutoCAD, select line, then specify your first point. I will click here. Then type shift at the rate suppose 22 is my length I will type here 22 and shift then lesser than sign that is for my angle I will type here then 45 here you can see the line has been drawn in angle now I will check I will draw here a baseline to check its angle and dimension. Now go to angular dimension, click both lines. Here you can see the line is of 45 degree. And to check the dimension of this line, go to align dimension here in the dimension bar. Or you can go here in the menu bar and click dimension and aligned dimension and for angular you can click here I will select angular dim aligned dimension then I will select the first point then second point here you can see the line is of 22 mm now in my next step I will show you how to draw a polyline what is the Basically what is a polyline? A polyline is a combination of lines and arc in which you can also select or specify the width of line and arc. First of all select polyline and specify your first point. Here you can see it will ask for what you want arc, half width length and do width if you simply want to draw a length you don't even need to type L and type the dimension of line simply type 45 and press enter the length will be given automatically but if you want to draw a arc and give width want to give width of line you have to type A or W or H for half width half width and width are almost same the half width is half width of line and width is full width of line there is no difference suppose you want to draw a arc so you have to type A then press center then you have to give the dia of arc you can see you can only only draw arcs in vertical direction not in horizontal directions so keep in mind that here I will type dia 3 here you can see the uh, my arc is been drawn and if you again want to draw line press L then enter the line 
will be again visible. Now in my next step I will show you how to give width of polyline. Type simply W then press enter then give your starting width. Suppose you want a starting width of 2 and ending width of 1. Type 1 and then press enter. Here you can see it has starting width of 2 and ending width of 1. You can also give both the same. You just need to type only starting width then press enter and that's all. If you want again want to reset it to 0 you have to type W and then press enter then you have to type 0 enter 0 enter here you can see the line is again the line width is again 0 now in this step I will show you in my next step how to I will show you how to edit a polyline simply type p edit and then press enter now it will last you to select the multiple polyline now it, you can see it has first option of close you can simply type c and then press enter or you can select here close and click on it it will close the drawing like this or you can also open it by clicking on open or type o then enter in join command you have to select join suppose you have drawn polylines that two are not joined you can join it by selecting object select both the lines and then press enter the both the lines are joined here you can see width in width you can specify edit the width select the width and then specify your no, new width for all the segments Yanki all Yanki this I mean to say this will remain same of for all I will type here 3 you can see the width is 1 2 3 for undo you can type u and then enter down on now the next option in of polyline edit is edit vertex here you can see break insert move suppose you want to insert a new vertex simply click on it then specify where you your new vertex will be insert, inserted automatically or you can undo by doing exit then type u then it is undo remaining features of polyline edit are very less usable usable in AutoCAD fit is used to fit the lines spline to draw a spline in your polylines D curve you know L type gen undo that's not in use so that was all keep practicing and if you have any uh, co question for polyline please do ask me thanks and please do subscribe to my channel thanks